go check this bad boy out. Hangar four. I think there was anyways. Yep. yep. <laughs> look at the pictures of it and stuff you know you kind of see or think like the little Mirai Fury thrusters but no those are big boys <laughs> the concierge paint oh is that what this this one is <laughs> I don't even know I melted down something or other and then just moved over to whatever this the cheap package was that wasn't uh, Warbond. So it was probably whatever concierge pack. It's quite the controls. It's cool though. And getting like the seat out there and then it's sucking you in. That's kind of cool. Definitely very alien-y. Let's get rid of self status because that causes a bunch of frame rate garbage. You are clear to launch. It looks interesting, man. Let's we'll see what it is. At least in this, right? It looks really thin in the middle, and then you got the big old thrusters hanging there. Oh. Don't know what to think about the lines down the canopy. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's see what she looks like when you... Cool. Does that look like anything? Let's see. Okay, so it kind of twists that. Interesting. It's interesting how it twists the canopy just a little bit. Alright, what she got in terms of speed? Not gonna break any records, it looks like. Unless boost is crazy high. Eh. Like 410. It's not the slowest thing in the world. What does it feel like in terms of. Yeah, it feels really snappy in terms of responsiveness. Especially because it's not like a tiny little fighter. Hmm. Autobots transform and move out? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna burn out here really quick and then we'll go zip around and find some place with some grass. That's in the light. Just for the funsies. I haven't... With Maze, I tink tinkered with and checked out some of the like tree scatter. I think it was over his shoulder when I was over in the EU for work last. But I haven't really come and explored Microtech on my own at all since they did the new tree scatter and biome changes. Pretty pretty. Okay, where's an OM at? Well, that's interesting color, the teal. <laughs> Honestly blends in a little bit to the backdrop a little bit. Definitely doesn't shine the same way. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, there's an OM. Where's our other OMs at? The one over there? Yeah. be a cheat GD bugger really quick and turn off clouds why do I remember this being easier to spot I 
think that's grassy stuff? I guess we'll find out. Ooh, this thing is loud. I don't know if that's coming over the stream that much because of sound levels and stuff, but this thing is very loud. Jeez. This might be the loudest ship I think I've been in in a long time. <laughs> what the heck? Noisy sucker. <laughs> Why does it feel so slow? This is a good time to take. Oh, it's even louder outside the ship. Ooh, I like the way the guns are positioned though, that's kind of cool. It's like super aggressive in your face. I have to see in the long run how this thing actually feels in combat. This might be my go-to guy. I mean, it's a big target, especially front facing, but if it can hold up well enough and has packs enough of a punch, which I think it's Four size threes? Not bad. It's really loud, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's go here and we will uh, turn the game sound down a bit so I don't kill everybody's ears. <laughs> Including my own. Apparently the sound team needs to fix that one or the vehicle experience team or whoever's going to be in charge of that. Wait, look at that. What in the world? Just the ship. Gotcha, gotcha. Is that supposed to be like... Deploy landing gear, VTOL. Wait, does this thing actually have VTOL? Okay, so it just folds it, but without landing gear. Okay, interesting. You see how that's blinking when I'm... That's why I was all confused. Ah, the stupid... They gotta fix that too on the cruise control if you move your throttle at all because they changed that to like absolute relative throttle bind. It breaks the cruise control. I, wonder, I don't think that's supposed to be doing that every time you're rolling or pitching. Or yawing. Weird. <laughs> A little blinky on the left. I did not think this would take this long to burn down here. What the heck? Figured we'd just find a spot and go play, but... It's taking a really long time. Oh. So just something over there. Ghost Hollow, whatever the heck. Sounds familiar, but I don't remember what that is. Oh, it's so hard to see. Now, is this greenery or is just this more dirt crap? I guess we'll see. I mean, the little orbs that you control with are kind of cool. <laughs> Ooh. Magic eight balls. What are guns like? Bloop. Okay. Some alien repeaters or something. Cool.
Okay, yeah, we got some greenery here. Yeah, that's cool. The actual trees kind of blobbing together and stuff. And not just being this random noisy scatter that looks super fake. That's cool. What the heck is that? Is just rocks? Yeah. Alright, I'll stop shooting stuff. Be careful not to scrape this thing on the ground. Is it any sl like slower with VTOL mode on? I wonder. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you can fly it though, <laughs> decently. <laughs> Ain't gonna be as fast that way. Uh, this is not exactly the greenery I was going for. Love the dense forests, yeah. It's just way more believable. Go land here next to like one of these little. Just because you don't really get like the actual sense of the pretty just because of the LODs and stuff until you're actually on the ground. Whee. Oh, touchy. Touchy. Landing complete. Go take a look with some pretty trees around. <laughs> what is that guy? I love that. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice the landing gear. Look at the cute little insecty landing gear. Got the little pads kind of that fold out on the back here of those wings. Well, I don't know. You don't really call them wings. Whatever. Star shapey thingies. Oh, the lights there. Very cool. And then, like, looks like little teeny insect arms. That Why am I getting a party invite? No idea why. Second saber is going to come stream snipe and murder me. Do I have all this stuff turned up? Hi, hi, hi. I don't have clouds turned up, of course, but... Oops, why is that on? Oops. They need to fix that. What the heck? Overlapping. Yes, leave that there. Sure, and we'll even t crank up clouds for a second here. Let me take a look. Turn this back on too. I typically don't like playing with motion blur, but it looks really. Sim okay, yeah. I was wondering. I was like, that doesn't look quite cranked like it should. Yeah, that raises up the scatter. Ground scatter and stuff. These are still more of like the not so dense forest, but it definitely looks a lot more believable than it did though. That's cool. Blown out tree. Turn volumetric clouds back to medium just so I'm not taking too much of a hit from that. Sorry, bear with me. Okay, let's get back in here and go zip just a little bit away. I don't know what to think about the seat. Like, some of the grav levy stuff is cool. Going that far out, though, to where it's just this, like, little floating collection of stuff is a little bit much, maybe. <laughs> but, I'll deal with it. Might be a little too uh, unbelievable, alieny, but maybe I'm just being picky. 
Overall, though, I like the way this thing flies for a not, like, tiny, tiny light, though. Like, it's not fast in a straight line, which I wasn't expecting it to be, because it's not aerodynamic. Of course. But it's got snappy controls, at least, so it doesn't feel like you're flying some freaking boat. Like some of the heavy fighters, or even some of the more, you know, other medium fighters that just don't really handle. Like, I'm looking at you, Buccaneer, that's... I don't remember if it's even supposed to be a medium fighter or if it's just a light fighter, but it honestly handles kind of like Pooh nowadays. Which is sad because it used to be one of my favorite kind of combat ships to fly, and now I don't even own one because it just got not as much fun to fly. Let's turn back on some fun stuff. I had this off because I was testing, of course. Not even running my head tracking right now because it was giving me some issues, so I literally pulled it off my headset for now. Put these to like 20 and turn pilot look ahead back on and get some dynamics going. There we go. Ooh, little trees out in the snow, too. Cute. <laughs> yeah, this is like really dense here. Love it. Love that, too. Thrusters banging off of the ground there. That's dope. Gotta love that. Oh, this is cool spot. Alright, excuse me, but I gotta land here. I just gotta hop out and take a look. This is a cool little cubby. Even got some like the fall colors going on in the ground, it looks like. Don't bounce away, ship. Yeah, man. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, this is like screenshot worthy. What am I clicking the wrong button? I want to do that. Yeah. Deep. Turn the old head up a little bit. Zip around that way just a little bit. Screenshot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too pretty, man. Like, this looks awesome. Granted, I wish right there, you know, you can see where the LOD kicks off and, like, the ground scatter is kind of disappearing. So I wish that was further, of course, but... It's just beautiful, just surrounded by really dense trees. Get the cool rock scatter up on the canyon walls. Screenshot generator. Yeah, that's Star Citizen for us. I'm never, I've never really been a big screenshot guy either, but... Between Elite and its random proc gen planets and exploring and finding cool stuff there and then Star Citizen with it's just... Hello, I've got a handful of planets, but they're so freaking gorgeous they're gonna make you actually take screenshots even though you're not a screenshot, dude. Future home... Dude, I cannot wait for that. Oh, yes. Like, I'm secretly... Like, always obsessed with, uh, you know, survival crafting games, stuff like that. Even No Man's Sky I play a ton of, even though its flight model is non-existent, let's be real. And even its ground combat, right, like, it sucks and stuff. But just the base building, going out there, finding a cool spot, 
building an awesome base and just having some shenanigans that way, or fleet carrier base, or freighter base, or whatever. That stuff I go crazy for. So when, as a Hooner racer dude, I get to the point in this game where I can go find me a cool little valley like this that nobody's in and be like, this is my spot. Plant my flag and have just my little cabin out in the woods with my ships parked next to it. <laughs> my life will be complete. It'll be perfect. I won't want anything else. Honestly, they should just release that at the same time that they release master modes and then maybe I'll uh, you know, be able to deal with it. I'll be so happy from you know being able to make my own home, my homestead, and do all of that base building stuff. Then I'll just be like, yeah, it's fine. We'll just deal with it. <laughs> this should be their strategy. Yeah, Microtech though is looking gorgeous. What is this? Yeah, they've got some of this kind of like fading in between this blending between some of the snow and some of this dirt stuff with a kind of grassy, mossy, orangey covering. Looks really good. Whee! Looks very, very good. I cannot complain. Like this, dude. This denseness. It's beautiful. This is more like... These are still overscaled in general, probably, right? Like a lot of the trees are just a little bit too high scale and stuff, but the fact that they're so dense now, it makes me feel a little more even like Microsoft Flight Simulator believability when you're ripping over the forest. And obviously this looks way prettier too, because let's be real, a lot of like close up Microsoft Flight Sim doesn't look very good. From a distance though, it looks totally fine and in a lot of ways believable. This is gorgeous. Love it. And once you turn this thing down, in terms of, uh, you know, turn the game volume down so it doesn't murder yours, this thing's pretty fun to fly. It's not, like I said, not fast. Not here in, you know, Earth like Atmo at least, but. She handles really nicely. Yeah. You can pull those silly shenanigans like that where you're doing like the, you know, nose down ground strafey stuff and everything because obviously it doesn't have a lot of aerodynamic bite in the forward direction. Which is fun. Until I crash. Woohoo! This is more like plainsy looking, yeah, which is really lightly scattered trees. Love the dynamics. Hydrogen fuel, 75%. Oh no. This even looks really nice too. Well, I am. Am I just scattering up dust, or is a storm coming? This must be a storm. I was like, that cannot all be me. <laughs> well, it did look nice before I got blocked. The way the snow was kind of piling on itself there. I don't remember seeing it quite with that formation back in the day, but maybe it's just something if I missed and was always been there. What's over this way? These lines keep screwing me up because I keep thinking uh, the lines on the canopy, I keep thinking it's like texture glitching happening. And I'm like, uh, just because you know you used to see that a lot, like sudden seams and stuff like that, but I haven't in a while. But no, it's just the canopy throwing me for a loop. Back to some dense stuff. Yeah, I love the dynamics here, though. That's awesome. But it's not just all uniform. Really feels like you're flying over different little micro-regions of a planet. It's just super, super cool. 
And this just goes on and on. Dang. Zoom out just a little bit here on my external cam. We'll watch the little eight ball uh, thrusters, the big eight ball thrusters do their work. I wonder if they're tuned a little bit better than the Furies were in terms of actually doing what they should. Eh, it looks like maybe. Yeah, it's kind of a cool effect when you boost. There's that weird shimmer. This is an interesting biome area. Of course, the TAA is streaking my brains out. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Luckily, she's tough. <laughs> Just did a little down ground scrape and didn't, don't think took a hit. Oh, that's funny. Just a little skid. Little skid mark on the nose. I gotta do that the other way. I find myself habitually turning left too much. Habits from motocross. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> it's not often nowadays in Star Citizen where a ship can actually take a little bump and not just insta, insta explode. Ooh, what do we got here? Some little canyons. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, we did it again. That was a strange sound for an explosion. <laughs> Didn't get out of it that time. Turn this back up now that we don't.